so let's let's talk about uh like working as an engineer and i know that like when we talk about this you know you want to be careful because you know it's on the internet and you're employed so you probably don't want to mention where you work and stuff yeah yeah yeah. um so what what are some good things about actually being a mechanical engineer what are some things that you can tell our audience that they might appreciate you know so for me um i can i can talk about you know a set of experiences so let me let me just go back to uh, my internship experience and i won't say the company or any of that but when i did my internship i realized that um i knew very little compared to what i thought i knew right a very minimum amount actually and it was enough for me to think critically and figure it out on my own but not enough to where I knew the answer right away, right? So if someone enjoys solving problems on a constant and regular basis, and it's something that gets them going, excites them, engineering is for you, right? So that's when I realized engineering is for me. I enjoy the the constant challenge of solving real world problems right i was solving real world problems as an intern right now when i got my first engineering job which is not my current job um it was very exciting because i got to see the product that i designed come to life right in front of my eyes right so think about that perspective guys i mean if 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 you're striving to be an engineer uh, especially a mechanical engineer, you will get to see your work being implemented, right? And a lot of people might think, oh, wow, you know, this is uh, what I'm really excited about and uh, I would love to be uh, and, and and do that. But um, there are challenges that come with it, right? Because when, you, when your design is being implemented, um, they're calling you for questions. They're calling you for answers. They're calling you with their struggles, right? So I remember uh, being in the shop floor constantly during my first job and just helping production with uh, challenges, right? So how do I fit this part? How do I, you know, get this assembled together? Um, you know, how should I prioritize the order of the operations? Because it was a very custom product, right? That throughout production um, faced a lot of struggles until it was ready. So for those of you that love solving problems, engineering is a really good field. Um, But I must say it can be stressful sometimes, um, but it shouldn't be stressful all the time, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Uh, So, and this kind of goes back to what we were discussing way back is, the engineering classes are hard, and I believe they're hard for a reason, right? They're hard for a reason because you need to be able to think when you're stressed, right? And whether that is creating strategies to step out for a second, go out for a cup of coffee, drink some water, stand up from your desk, um, you know, if, if it gets to a point where it's too overwhelming, then you take a break and you're like, okay, I'm going to take an early lunch. You know, I'm going to take an early lunch because then I clear my head and I'll have, I'll have some time to actually think through this. Right. And I learned that actually in my internship, I remember struggling a lot with a, uh, a problem. And one of the senior engineers there was like, Hey, have you eaten anything today? Like this afternoon? And I was like, no, I'm actually kind of hungry. And he was like, no, this is not how we're going to do this. He opened his drawer. He gave me uh, one of his snacks that he constantly snack on. And he was like, here it is. Go in the kitchen, make you uh, make yourself this snack, and then come back, and then we'll discuss your issue. Boom. And that's when I learned that, you know, taking a break was actually encouraged in this field because it allows your ideas to flow and, um, you know, your emotions to settle a little bit more. You can think clearly, clearly, and then you can actually tackle the problem, right? Basically, you're talking about being mindful of your feelings and how you're performing and building some, you know, mental toughness. 
Yes. Yes. Mental toughness is uh, perhaps one of the biggest challenges as as an engineer, right? Um, which is why you probably see a lot of uh, engineers they they want to go up in the ladder as quickly as possible mm -hmm. because that constant everyday beating of solving problems it wears you out a lot so they would rather learn as much as possible about everything and oversee the processes versus do all the grunt work um and not saying that you know if you choose a route where you're constantly doing all the hard work all the time is a bad thing but it's typically you know something that wears you out a lot throughout years so you want to seek an opportunity that you, in my opinion, you can go up and slowly be able to uh, stress at the right times. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that kind of kind of I don't know the word kind of coincides. I'm not sure if that's the right word. That kind of agrees with what I've heard from other engineers. You know that it's um, it's pretty rigorous. Like you really have to be like on your game, but for the yes. most part, you would say it's a very enjoyable profession. And we've talked yes. before. You, you like it. Yes. It's, yeah. <laughs> so it's good, good. Yes. Very good. Very enjoyable, yes. What? And, um, uh, oh, go ahead. Sorry. No, no, no. I was just going to say, just the on the, the enjoyment part, just to, to wrap it up, um, I will say that you will know in school whether or not you love uh, this profession or not. I mean, you should use school right if you're not using your program to figure out what it is that you enjoy you're wasting your time because you you certainly don't want to find out in the in the job market it will be very hard because then you're going to have to pay rent you know all of those things that are a part of adult life right you don't want that but yeah someone once told me that one of the reasons for going to college is so that you can find out what you really like doing and you can kind of like explore your options and, you know, figure out what it is, you know, you're good at, what it is you want to do. Yes. But I'm not sure if that's really a popular opinion. You know, most people, I mean, including myself, I went to college, you know, for a computer science degree because you know, I wanted a better life. I thought I need to do something with my life. Right. So. Right. But when I got there, I switched to math because, you know, I, I was better at math. So. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but but just to expand on that real quick before we go to the other topic um i have met so many people in my field my current job and previous jobs that didn't even have an engineering degree so it is possible to perform like an engineer and not have the credentials of an engineer that will limit your opportunities i i must say but it is possible to learn with the jobs right but then you miss out the opportunity in school to get exposed to so many different fields, uh, especially here in the U.S. You have, you know, clubs that you can join, that you can um, test different aspects of your knowledge and get different kinds of experiences. And uh, I'm all for getting a degree, but I know this is controversial, so we're not going to get too much into that right <laughs> yeah this is a g-rated G channel <laughs> g-rated channel exactly yeah, yeah. we don't want to get too heated no nothing no. controversially yeah. yeah 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 good stuff good stuff. yeah but you were saying something um earlier no i forgot yeah i forgot what i was saying <laughs> good wasn't important no it wasn't okay important. Wasn't, wasn't important, important. 